Armand, please come on stage. Thank you. So, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Ahmed Ashimi. I'm going to be talking for uh, Bit Estate. Um, you know, walking into this room, uh, I expected a lot of uh, new faces, but looking around, I see a lot of you actually visit our booth. So, first off, thank you so much for visiting us again um, in the speech. And if you haven't already visited our booth, uh, now is the perfect time to actually know about what we do. So, I'm just going to take you very, very quickly um, to what we're going to actually be talking about today. So, first, I'm going to be introducing our team. Uh, we're going to also be talking about the inevitable future of uh, crypto, which is basically why you all are here. Uh, we're going to explain who we are, what we do. And to be honest, we're going to actually talk about why we chose Dubai as our first location to launch this venture. So this is the team. So we're going to be starting off. My name is Ahmed al -Shimi. I'm the one on the press left. Uh, just so you know more about me, uh, I've been in the real estate industry in Dubai for the past seven years. Um, I have a very good sales record uh, in Dubai. Uh, I've sold over $100 million in, in properties in Dubai for the past seven years. Um, and the funny story about the, the faces you're actually seeing on this presentation is those people uh, at one point were my clients. So we met in Dubai. They had crypto. They said, Ahmed, we actually want to invest our crypto in something that um, is usable. So I told them, why not real estate? They bought their villas through me. And today we're launching Bit Estate together in the Dubai Crypto Expo uh, right in front of you guys. So we're going to talk about the inevitable future of uh, crypto. And I know, you know most of you guys are, are almost exhausted after, after like a couple of days of walking around this event. So I'm just going to quickly make sure that your brains are, start, are still clicking. And I'm going to just ask you like a quick, fun couple of questions. So the first thing is, how much do you think the Bitcoin adaptation grew in the past 12 months? This is a question for everybody. Any show of hands? So in, in a percentage, sir, how much do you think that is? 400%. OK. It's actually 880%. Another question is, how much do you think cryptocurrency grew in adaptation since 2019? And that is actually the most outstanding piece of information that we got. Do you want to go for it? So in a percentage, how much is that? 100 times? It's 2,300%. Thank you for participating in that. <laughs> Just looking quickly at Google Trends, we're going to see how many people have been um, searching you know, the major keywords that have to do with, with crypto. So you have cryptocurrency. We just you know, put like generic keywords. Uh, cryptocurrency, crypto, Bitcoin, Binance, Ethereum. Now, as you see over the past 12 months, this has majorly peaked. Now, of course, COVID-19 gave a lot of people a lot of time to uh, research the keywords, um, know more about the blockchain technology, get, get, you know, admire it even more, and basically jump onto that technology. And what happens when, when, when consumers um, fall in love with an idea or a process? You find corporates jumping on it. So looking at these uh, major corporates, they're probably very familiar to anybody who's following news on, on crypto, basically. So you have Tesla, you have Microsoft. Recently, we have AMC theaters that are accepting uh, crypto uh, to, to basically pay for cinema tickets. But the problem is the usability of crypto as till this moment in the whole entire world is still very limited. Um, day on day, we're hearing news that, let's say, China is, uh, is, uh, is bombarding miners, India is banning it, Turkey is banning it. And, I mean, crypto is inevitable. It's going to happen everywhere anyway. But as of this moment, it's not just a smooth process. So that is why we are actually creating Bit Estate, identifying two problems that 
I've, 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 I've actually talked about in the past couple of slides. First off, the usability of cryptocurrency around the world is not great. That's why we're going to be helping you through BitEstate. The second thing is, even though there are around 15,000 vendors around the world right now that are accepting crypto as a payment, the, the products that are actually selling are either consumable products or, or depreciating products. I mean, looking around, you guys, I'm pretty sure a lot of, a lot of you guys made, you know, sums of money on crypto. I mean, you've probably like bought uh, nice luxury watches. A lot of you might, you know, I've, I've seen a lot, a lot of like shiny Lambos coming in this, this event. <laughs> so um, I'm pretty sure a lot of that might have been crypto. But the matter of the fact is, these assets, this luxury watch today is, is worth something. Next year is going to depreciate. This luxury car that you bought with that crypto, next year is going to be worth even less than what you bought it today. So what we are doing is actually diversifying your investment portfolio by buying real estate, which it's always known as an appreciating asset. It's giving you an opportunity to enjoy your crypto, enjoy your money in real life, but at the same time, making money over your money. So I'm going to be showing you this video. It's going to be a very uh, brief video about us, and then we're going to be taking, taking you through the rest of the presentation. So, Bit Estate is a one-stop shop for any crypto investor that wants to diversify their portfolio and buy real estate. The simple procedure is we give you expert property consultation. We give you the method of transferring this crypto and managing the transaction on our responsibility to have this property of your desire registered in your name and last and but not least, if this is an investment property for yourself, we have all the experience in property managing it. So from A to Z, we identify the property, we transact on the property, and eventually rent out the property for you or resell the property at a higher value if you desire to do so. We have expert consultation, a diverse portfolio because we're dealing in all of Dubai, smooth transactions, and we have basically a full solution for all your property needs. Just as a simple fact, if you, look, if you research, you'll find that 90% of ultra high net worth individuals around the world either made their money or maintained their money through real estate. So that is briefly about us. The next most important thing is why we actually chose Dubai to launch this venture. Because as I was mentioning before, it's not just only about using your crypto. It's actually using your crypto in something that is worth using your crypto in. And Dubai real estate market is a booming market. If you look at the statistics post COVID, September alone in Dubai, um, the, trans the real estate transactions hit 100 billion dirhams. If you look at the Dubai Land Department statistics, September was the highest yield and the highest value of transactions for any September month since 2013. That alone shows you how the world even looks at Dubai post-COVID. In the past two weeks, Bloomberg actually uh, released an article about the five most resonant cities around the world. Dubai came number five. So you have Paris, you have London, you have New York, you have Moscow, and then Dubai. Dubai now, as a city, is the fifth largest branded city in the world. So I'm going to take you through, I mean, the, the reasons why you should invest in Dubai are various, but I'm going to just be talking about, you know, the th six most reasons why you should consider real estate in Dubai. First off, 
Dubai is basically one of the best cities to work with or live in. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody here in this room is from a different country, uh, speaks a different language, but there's a main reason why we're here in Dubai. Dubai always pioneers in innovation and in, in, in new ideas and in the quality of life. One of the most impressive things about Dubai, Dubai is a zero tax emirate. So that means when you buy a property, you don't pay property tax. When you get money from that property, the government does not deduct a tax from your rental income on that property. In simple terms, what you pay for the property, that's net. What you make out of the property, that's net income. In Dubai, Dubai in real estate market has one of the highest rental returns around the world. Actually, as a statistic, a person that comes to visit Dubai for a career spends oh, more or less 3.7 years. The other statistic I have for you is that the Dubai uh, population increases every year by 15%. What that means for the real estate market is most people are looking to rent and there's a very, very high demand on rent. We also have high capital appreciation. I mean, if we're looking at prices, you know, in last January compared to now, we at least have experience for those who live in Dubai pretty, pretty, pretty much know more about this than me. Some of the properties actually increased by 40 to 50%. And the way that we're actually looking at the charts and the demand, and me myself as a person that works in the real estate industry and is, 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 is basically getting queries on every day, on like everyday basis, this number is, is spiking. Another reason is, a lot of people when they see the glamour of Dubai, especially for the first time, the first thing that comes to mind is, Dubai might be a very, very expensive destination to actually buy properties in. Now, if I was to compare prices of properties to other global cities around the world, especially the resonant ones that I've been talking about, if you want to buy a property in New York, how much do you think that property would cost? Like, as a starting price. Has every, anyone here start, you know, kind of inquired about that before? It's pretty expensive. It's pretty expensive. So, even though Dubai is a resident city, it accommodates from the smallest investor to the biggest investor. You can buy, off the top of my head, for 160K, a property in a beautiful golf community, overlooking a golf course, on a three-year payment plan that is, let's say, interest-free, and your payment plan is gonna be an average of 0.9 Bitcoin a year. You will not find that trade in a prime location in any global city around the world. Last and but not least, if you purchase a property in Dubai, that enables you to become a resident of Dubai. You enjoy all the facilities of a, of a Dubai resident, and you can get health insurance in Dubai, you can apply for visas in Dubai. Basically speaking, it's almost getting a, a Dubai green card. So, to cut the story short, whether let's say crypto or not, one of the most famous things I know and admire the most is don't wait to buy real estate, buy real estate and wait. Real estate is always an appreciating asset. If you have crypto that you want to diversify into real estate, now is the perfect time to do it. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, thank you for attending this. Please, if you have any questions, um, I would love to hear them. Any questions, everybody? All right. Thank you so much. And please, uh, feel free to contact us for any queries on our, um, our email, uh, on our social media. And uh, of course, if you want to look at, at the listings we have at the moment for Bit Estate, you can visit our website. And just in case uh, the listings we have on our website at the moment does not particularly uh, fit your requirements, um, if you have any queries in regards to any certain budget or any certain uh, type of property, please send that to us either via, via the website or via the email, and we'll be very happy to help you. Thank you so much.